Gary Benetieri and welcome back. In this next video we're going to be looking at the Texas Department of Public Safety. But we're going to be focused on the aspect of driver's licenses. And what I've done here is I've got a several steps of how you go about setting up ER and EER diagrams given some general requirements for the Department of Public Safety in terms of the drivers, driver's licenses and so forth. And we're going to be setting up a a ER diagram and, car and underlying diagrams and we're also going to be mapping that to a set of tables. So join me now and as we go through this whole process and hopefully this will help you understand what it takes to create EER and EER diagrams. Thanks a lot and let's go. The Texas Department of Public Safety example has um, a lot of different areas where we can look at in terms of the public safety looks at administration, criminal law enforcement, emergency management, uh, driver license, public safety commission, highway patrol, and the Texas Rangers. For this example, we're only going to focus on the driver license uh, division. Now, what you might want to do, you see I've got some hot links within the document. You might want to take a look at those before going on just to get an idea of what exactly is involved in the uh, driver license division. So here I have in the notes a set of specifications that you might want to review and and what you would do is uh, the best way to get the most out of it is go through these requirements see if you can build a set of ER diagrams or EER diagrams just on the requirements without peeking ahead. So we're going to be focusing on driver license division. Below we see a set of requirements one of which is every driver is expected to have a driver's license and we see a little example below of Janus Sample which I took off the website and we see the uh, maybe date of birth class which is type of driver's license the uh, eye color here there's height and weight and address and below this describes all the uh, aspects which are included in a driver's license also, you cannot renew a driver's license if you have a driving under the influence violation, which basically you were driving drunk, or if you have any outstanding traffic fines. Now, one of the things you need to do as a driver is you need to register your vehicle at one of the offices within the driver license division. And as a driver, you must apply the vehicle title and you must have the uh, which has the VIN, license number, state, make, model, year, and color. You must also provide information about the insurance and that insurance includes the policy number, the company name, like Allstate, um, vehicle that's insured, effective date when the insurance started, and the expiration date when your insurance runs out. Now the Department of uh, Public Safety will charge you a certain fee for a driver's license depending upon whether or not you get let's say a C for chauffeur or M for motorcycle. Now each office each office of the driver division wishes to keep track of their employees and the dependents of the employees. Now before going on what I highly recommend is you stop the video at this point and see if you can work out the set of entity relations by yourself and then come back and obviously don't peek ahead to page 16. So I'll uh, stop the video here and give you an opportunity to come back. Okay I assume you're back at this point and you've tried to work on this your own here are the steps that you would apply to build an EER type of diagram. Well, the first thing I do is I go through the document, identify the nouns and the adjectives and the verbs. So what you see in the document below, and I, I won't go into all the details since it's in front of you here, I've identified all the nouns in boldface, I've also identified all the adjectives in boldface, and I've underlined all the verbs. So this is the list that I came up with in terms of noun, adjectives, and verbs. So once you've done that, the next step is you want to map the 
nouns to entities and adjectives to attributes. So here on page uh, 17, I've got this little table. I've put the nouns in the left-hand side and the attributes on the right-hand side. Now, as I go through this, a couple things you want to observe. One is you might come across synonyms as you proceed, things that are more or less identical. So here we see an example like driver might be the same as a driver license, which might be the same as a license. Also, we, in the requirements, we had information, we had insurance information, and we had insurance, which all refer to the same thing. Now, the reason we would do this is we might choose one of those nouns and use the others and just mention that they are synonyms. Also, what we might observe is that vehicle I would say that would be subsumed under vehicle title. Now you could say they're two different things and you know at some point you'd have to make a design decision whether they have you two separate entities or one entity there. Okay, the other thing is the driver license division and driver division did not show up as well, they are they did show up as nouns, I apologize. And they refer to the whole database, so we could probably eliminate one of those terms. The other thing we observe is that uh, other details such as a driver's name uh, are also included. So based on those observations and we see that some things just were not in requirements, that sometimes happens, we have to flush out details. We might revise our list and the mappings would look something like this. So we have driver, we have offices, vehicle title, insurance, employees, and employee dependents. And as you can see, for example, I added attributes for employees and employee dependents, which were not necessarily in the requirements documents. So that sometimes happens, and that involves having domain knowledge to say, oh, I know what an employee is, and, and you know, scoping out those details. Now, once you've come up with the nouns and the attributes, I, I would say one approach is a bottom-up approach and in that case you would create the entities and so here I have driver and the corresponding attributes there might not be clear in the video here but I've underlined this as my key here's an example of a composite attribute scroll composite attribute made of first and last name address might consist of street city state and zip also, what you've noticed when we have driver's license class such as chauffeur or motorcycle, I just use the word class. Now, if you saw in the requirements, it said there's like a chauffeur's type of driver's license class or a motorcycle. Those do not show up here because they're actually values for the attributes. Just like if we had a person's height, we would not have five foot three as their height, we would just have the the attribute height as opposed to the actual value. Scrolling down we see the entity offices where it might have phone, I've added office ID which might be used internally, point of contact might be the chief uh, person at that particular office, his or her first and last name, address, street, city, state, zip, county, and region. Now if you go to the Department of Public Safety website, you'll see they have region, and that's why I included that there. Scrolling down, we see vehicle title, and that consists of a driver license ID, has VIN, license number, state, make, model, color, and year. We also have driver license as ID as a multi-valued attribute, and I'm assuming that multiple people might own one vehicle, they're co-owners. 